think the larger issue of talent being difficult for various reasons. One is, as you said, pressure on uh, margins, ability to hire, and a host of other industries opening up. You know, at the Rata Sukulka Group, we've been very good at this. We saw this long back. And if you guys know, we run uh, what we call the Star One mechanism, where we pick in people from all streams, which is creative, media, servicing, planning, digital, all of them come together and they uh, work for three months in classroom sessions. So they're trained. We took them fresh up from campus. And to give you an example, about 30 of them who come on every year. So it's a large number, 30 odd people coming on board. And then these are put through a three month mechanism. After that, they also go through a sales training with the client companies. So they are given uh, exposure. To tell you, we've been doing this for the last uh, more than 21, 22 years. So it's been consistent. In a way, we have built this in. Some of these guys are our CEOs, have risen up to become CEOs, the general managers, our vice presidents. So in a manner of speaking of you know, bringing, building from within uh, is something which has worked very well for us. And it has two advantages. Not only do you get your own talent, but you also create a culture which is own, which is distinctive. You know, when you get people from other agencies, sometimes you have to get them to unlearn their own culture. So it works at various levels for us. Where procurement is doing a job, especially from a media standpoint, they do a job. Their job is to drive prices uh, and get the right value. But I think if you have, talk to mature procurement people, the, the simple ones obviously say we want to drive it down. But uh, a lot of mature people are now coming to the conclusion that we must look at the right value. What is the right value, be it in terms of your remuneration or be it in terms of driving price down for their brands. For example, in media, it's not only about my remuneration, it's also the cost at which you are buying uh, you know, the services from television. And as you know, in television, there is a polarization today. So you get a lot of cheap GRPs. You also get high quality GRPs. So I think uh, procurement people, well, it's necessary. It's part of life. You have to accept them. But I think a lot of mature procurement people are working in the positive direction. So it's easy to manage. If you look at the retention part, and uh, first, that there is a strong culture in the organization. So A, when you have so many people from inside who are growing up, you create, uh, you know, and the culture around two things. People like doing the quality work they're doing, and it's a warm and friendly place, and it's a very open, transparent place. So just these two things ensure that our attrition is far lower than the rest of the industry. But having said that, you also have to reward people. So reward is not only uh, by sheer compensation. We have a strong variable mechanism which takes care of uh, performance due to the performance of the company, and the company is doing extremely well in the last so many years, the draft of Sibulka Group. But not only is it rewards, it's also recognition. So there's a lot of stuff, international programs, international training. A lot of our people have gone out uh, to various markets, you know. We, in, if I may say so, uh, within the draft SUB group, draft SUB will call India is as well in the crown. So they recognize us, they take a lot of people in, they, you know, call us to run programs. So there are various other ways of recognizing people. So within, all in all, it's worked out very well for us.